My name is Chris Kerr and I'm the founder of Tiki Biosciences and I'm going to be answering the question of how are you keeping things going business-wise during the crisis? Well, that's a, that's a great question. Uh, I'm, I'll admit that I'm not sure I have the right answer on that depending on the day. Uh, I've been trying to do what entrepreneurs should always do, which is stay flexible, uh, stay optimistic, and make the most of a, uh, make the most of a situation. Um, I'm just trying to do all of that while staying at least six feet away from everyone. From an operation standpoint, we use a third party fulfillment center here in DFW and they've taken the recommended enhanced precautions around coronavirus. So they're still operating and fulfilling all online orders, which, which has been great. Online ordering should look the same as it, as it previously has to customers and that should be seamless through the website. Where things have really changed is some of the brick and mortar retail outlets uh, that we work with have had to temporarily close. Uh, this has been a massive strain on their finances, uh, so we've, we've been creative with them and we've offered deferred payment terms to try to lessen the impact. Everyone's going through a huge cash crunch right now, um, so I think it's important for partners to help out where possible. I've heard some amazing stories from other entrepreneurs and small businesses about what their suppliers and their customers have done to really you know, lighten the impact on their business and you know, help support them. So it, it really reaffirms your faith in community and humanity as a whole. Tiki is, is still a startup. So we've, we've been growing the brand for less than a year now. So it's important to get out and do business development do the pop-ups, you know, do customer education and get our products into more locations where customers can be introduced to them. And that's where things have, have really ground to a screeching halt. But there's nothing any of us can do about that right now. Um, and you know, probably not for the next four to eight weeks or however long it takes to uh, bend the curve. So what we're trying to do is, is focus on the, the things that we can impact and that's catching up on blog posts that we meant to write a couple months ago, um, you know, trying to find ways to provide value on social media with uplifting and educational content, uh, doing some product contests and giveaways, um, and making plans for, for when things get back to normal. And they will. It's just a matter of when. It, until then, though, uh, it's important to focus on the company's burn rate. Uh, that's probably the, the biggest concern for any business um, and you know, being selective on making the future marketing commitments is, is, is a big one. So now more than ever, making sure you're getting an ROI on your, your marketing dollar is key. Tiki sales are primarily online, um, pretty, pretty much 100% online right now. Um, so we need to get in front of our current and potential, potential customers to remind them of our value offering, um, but we also need to do it in a, in a very cost-effective manner doing contests and giveaways with, uh, with partners on Instagram and, and Facebook is probably the most cost-effective option right now. So we'll be doing that a lot more over the next four, possibly eight weeks, you know, however, however long we have to do it.